Welcome back. And today we are going to have a look at another set of macros for another fantastic salad. So um, yesterday I had some interaction with a few people. Uh, not really still clear on how to develop a macro based on the actual food. Um, for some people this just does not connect. Um, especially if the food doesn't have a label. So a lot of times things like grape tomatoes, if you buy them in the store, they're not going to have any kind of nutritional information. Sometimes they will. Um, you know, the growers might add something in there, um, but sometimes you won't. So you have to kind of do your own research and generalize. So what I do is I go to Google, I type in say for grape tomato nutrition and the algorithm will spit out a couple different things um, sometimes it'll give you um, a, a little thing on the side that will show the, the item and then give you the macros for it just it's a general macro for that item sometimes you won't get grape tomato you just get tomato so you kind of have to decide how strict you want to be. For veg, I'm not always that strict. I figure I'm getting close enough. So it, it's completely up to you. So you can, you can find a bunch of different sites and maybe take an average. Or, I mean, you, you might be able to go right to the site of whoever packaged it and find out from their website. I've never tried that, but you might be able to do that. Anyway, so I've written down everything that I've pulled out of the fridge. So I'm not going to have totals for you because I'm not going to spend the time doing all that math on here. But I am going to write down all of the numbers just to show how I get them. Okay? So, um, just on the package stuff that has macros on it. So we're going to start out, we're going to get our bowl, and whatever size bowl you want, that's fine. You get your bowl, you put it on your scale. I have an electronic scale, okay, $12 at Walmart, it's got pounds, kilograms, um, I use a lot. Okay, so you put the bowl on and then you zero it out so that it's zero again. And I use grams most of the time because a lot of times um, that's what I've, everything is measured in. So my greens, um, one serving size is three ounces, which is 85 grams. That's pretty normal for this packaging. So that's what they, uh, I don't eat 85 grams in a sitting. It's too much for me. So I usually divide that in half and have a half of a serving. So we're just going to throw in 42 grams. Okay? And you have to make sure that once you throw your 40, whoops, throw your 42 grams on, and look at that. Bam! 42 grams. Once you throw that on there, you're going to want to write 42 grams next to baby spring mix so that you can remember how much of each thing you have. So on the back of that packaging, it says, I'm going to get up close here, it says calories is 20, fat is 0, protein is 2, and carbs are 3, but we minus, if you're doing net grams of carbs, you're going to subtract whatever the dietary fiber is from the carbohydrate load. So you have 3 grams of carbs, but you have 2 grams of fiber. So really, you only have one net carb. I'm only eating half, so it's really 0.5 carbs. So what I do is I put, I just do calories, fat, protein, carbs. So I just keep a running total here. So the calories, because it's only half, it's 10 calories, zero fat, protein is two, so you divide that in half, it's one, and then the carbs, of course, is 0.5. Because remember, you take your carbs, you minus the dietary fiber, that leaves you with one, but you're only having half a serving, gives you 
All right, so that you're done with that. I know this all seems really tedious and long, but in the end, if you're going for absolute optimal maximiz maximizing your fat loss, your tracking, um, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing. This is the best way to do it. This is the way that I did it. This is how I got to a size two. So if that's what you want, if that if you're determined, okay, you yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It really is. But I'm guaranteeing you that after a couple months of tracking, you'll know these values. So you can look at that and say it's 42 grams. You know, you can look at all your veg, you can look at a fully made salad and you can guesstimate really closely, you know, what all the macros are for it. Especially if you're making your own food at home. So keep that in mind. So um, I'm going to use three grape tomatoes. I'm just going to cut those in half, but I'm going to write it on my list as three grape tomatoes because that's something that I'm going to have to Google. So tomatoes. So I put a three next to it, and then we put those aside. I've got some cucumber. I'm going to just use it up because this is really all I have left. i got to pick up some more cute today. So what we're going to do, we're going to zero out. We've already got that stuff in there, but we are going to zero out and use the kilogram function and just put the big chunk on. So it says 58 grams. Next to our cube, we're going to write 58 grams because, again, we're going to have to Google that because it obviously doesn't have a label on it. So you're going to... And a lot of times it'll give you, if you put in 58 grams cucumber nutrition into the Google search bar, it will give you the exact 58 grams, the macros. A lot of times it will do that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I've got a half an avocado. Now, recently my avocados have been really chintzy and small and uh, not, a, not a normal size. So, come on, man. I'm going to end up cutting my finger off. Come on. Um, so what I've been doing is, uh, my husband will eat half, he'll leave me half, and because it's small, I've been weighing it. And you can do the same thing for Google for avocado as well, is you can um, put in how much weight for avocado, and it will give you um, a fairly accurate macro based on that, rather than trying to figure out, oh, is it a small avocado? Is it a, whoops. And see, I broke my own rule. I didn't zero out. So I'm taking this off. i got to zero it out. And then we're going to put that back on. And she looks good. And that's going to be 59 grams of avocado. 59 grams. So see, I'm going to show you again. I'm putting the numbers next to each one. Alright, so we got our avocado in. I've got one mushroom. I'm going to zero out again. I'm just going to drop that on there. 25 grams. We're going to cut that up just a little bit. 25 grams. We're going to write that down. Next to mushroom, 25 grams. And I'm going to post these um, macros that I get once I do all the math. Um, I'll post them. I'll just edit the picture on the Keto is Life site, and I'll, um, I'll put the macros above it. So I'm not going to eat this whole thing of zook. I'm just going to have maybe that much. We're going to zero out again. 43 grams. You put 43 grams, and you're going to eyeball it because you know what? You're going to know when too much is too much. I mean, if, if you're if I cut this and it's more than 10 pieces, I know I've gone too far. You're going to learn how to kind of estimate. 
if you've got seven pieces, that's within, I mean, you're not going to have too many cards there. Uh, all of these are within, you know, a certain number. You're, it's a fairly low number, one mushroom, you know? So I've got some green pepper I'm going to use. I'm just going to cut a section off. And everybody's like, when you buy um, vegetables every single day, you keep the, all that vegetables in your um, house. What do you do? Do you um, buy, you know, huge quantities? No. I buy like one. If I, if I know I'm going to the grocery store today and I know I only have this left, I'll buy another zucchini. But I don't buy those ginormous ones. I buy kind of smallish ones that I know I'll eat in a day or two. I buy one pepper, you know, because I know that between my husband and I, we're not going to eat a whole bunch of peppers. That's why I don't like buying those bags with those small ones, because they go bad too fast. We're going to zero out for our green pepper. The green pepper is going to be 28 grams. 28 grams. Buy a vegetable or two a day. Whatever you think, whatever you, whatever looks good. You know, sometimes I'll go in there and some of the veg just seriously it looks like it's been sitting there for weeks. So I don't touch it. You know, if, if the veg looks good, you walk in and the green peppers look nice and hard and firm and they don't have any wet spots on them. You know, I'll definitely get one of those. This is this cheese that um, we bought the other day. This one's the Chipotle Jack one. I wasn't impressed with it. I like my cheese to have a bite, and this one definitely did not. Um, we zero out again for the cheese, drop that on there, and we're going to change that to ounce. Crap. Change it to ounces first, because cheese a little easier to measure in ounces. That's one and a quarter ounce of cheese. So I'm going to put 1.25 ounce next to the cheese. So when you go in, I'm feeding two. If you're feeding one, if you only have one person to feed, you may you may not go through a whole box of that baby greens uh, in you know a couple days like we do. We we eat salad a lot, so we go through a lot of greens. So I probably pick up a box a day, just to be sure, because he eats them when he gets home, and I eat them twice a day. So yeah. Just kind of gauge it in your mind. Unless you have an issue and you can't get to the grocery store as often as you would like. Um, but the problem with vegetables um, is, of course, you know, stuff is time restrictive when it comes to veg. So the um, turkey that I'm using is uh, 49 grams for a serving. That's smaller than normal. It's all right, 49 grams. So I'm figuring it's about this much ish. So we're going to zero out. We're going to go we're gonna zero out, go back to grams. Set that there. What did I say? 49. Oh my God, it's 50. I'm not going to be OCD about it. <laughs> Leave the 50. It's close enough. And I'm just going to give it a rough chop and put it on top. So, and then make sure that I write that down for my turkey. It's going to be 50 grams. So we have two things left for my salad. So this, the turkey already has macros on it. And so it's 45 calories. It's zero fat. It's nine protein, and it says less than one gram of carbs, right? So if you have less than one gram of carbs and less than one gram of dietary fiber, I say it's nil. So I put zero. It's not supposed to be any carbs in meat anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. If you want to put one, put one, you know, if you're feeling guilty. All right, and so my last two things, I have pickle, 
Every meal. Pickle. Um, I don't normally pour out the juice, but this one is dead, and I've got like 12 other bottles in the fridge, so. And I'm just going to have the one. And normally, I don't even put the pickles in my macros. Not anymore. But I will this time. So there's just one pickle. And on the jar, it will give you macros for one pickle. You put one. So zero calories for a pickle. But you got to be careful. Some of these have sugar in them. So um, fat zero, protein zero. And carbs is uh, less than one. So I'll just put 0.5 because, you know, I doubt there's a full carb in that tiny pickle. That was one of the smaller ones in there. And this is my last thing. This is a, sal a salsa verde that I found um, when I went to Whole Foods yesterday. And it's got uh, tomatillos, water, chilies, vinegar, green peppers, jalapenos, garlic, salt, cilantro, and xanthan gum, and that's it. And I thought, oh, that might be good on a salad. So one tablespoon has one carb. Now let's see how much tablespoon is, because it may not be enough for me, because I, like I like to have my salad be kind of wet, so I may um, go crazy and have two. I'll get a little cup. So I love these because they don't hold that much. And we have a tablespoon, so we're just going to put. Maybe it doesn't want to come out. So there's one. Yeah, I think I'm going to have two. But whatever dressing you use, or if you just use olive oil, you're going to want to measure. Your eyeball is not calibrated, like I tell my husband. You don't have calibrated eyeballs, you are not RoboCop, you cannot tell what two tablespoons is. I don't care what anybody says. You can't measure with your eyeball that well. And especially when it comes to something like a dressing or something that you can really go overboard on, it's best just to uh, measure it. So. We're going to double this because one tablespoon is a serving, so it's five calories. So we're going to put ten calories, zero fat, zero protein, and then the carb was one. We're going to double it to two. And that is going to do it. Now, anything else you want to add? You know I like to add all my, um, my little things. Salt, first of all, because I got the twitchy eye today. And you know what that means. I'm not getting my electrolytes the way I'm supposed to. So we'll add some salt. I like to add a little bit of Tabasco to my, um, I mean, hardly any. A couple little dribbles onto my avocado. And then maybe a little, uh, you know I love the bagel seeds. Put a little bit of bagel seed on there everything but the bagel, and some pepper, just to top it all off. Do a little ground pepper. And, I mean, doing the macros on this is fairly easy, you know, and once you get the swing of it, you can pump this out pretty quickly. So, there she glows. Beautiful, right? As always. All right, y'all, I'm going to go do the macros on this, and I will post them probably on Keto's Life uh, in a few minutes. All right, thanks. See y'all later.